So we're there. There's no reception. We keep trying to call this one. There is no reception. Okay, so it's 2010. The Lakers are facing the Celtics, and it's game seven. I'm trying to get tickets to go to it. Finally, an attorney sells me these nice tickets for $6,000, and I said, I'm going to call a friend. I call my friend, Pastor Dudley Rutherford. I said, what do you think? He's a big, diehard Lakers fan. He says, let me think about it. So he offers to take the car. I said, I'll drive you myself. I pull up. I pick him up. At my office, he gets in this yellow Z06 that I have, and we're flying. On the way there, the 210 freeway, which is known for having a worse reception because of the mountains, my Z06 runs out of gas. And by the way, if you don't know, I have the reputation for having ran out of gas in my cars at least 50 times, maybe more. So we're there. There's no reception. We keep trying to call this one. There is no reception. Finally, we get a bar. We call. The guy shows up from AAA. He knows me by my first name. Pastor Dudley Rutherford's making fun of me, saying, how does a AAA guy know you by your first name? Gives me gas. He's recording the entire video. We get back in the car. We barely make it. First quarter starts. We make it to the game. And obviously, the Lakers beat the Celtics. I think they win their 16th championship. It was a great game. We come back home. I'm over. I thought this is the story, right? Now, I got a reputation on the San Fernando Valley as a business guy, as an entrepreneur. I'm kind of shaking it up. I got some enemies, I got some competitors, but I'm building a reputation, right? It's been, it's been built, but it's getting bigger and bigger. So Pastor Dudley calls me three weeks later. He says, listen, I want you to come to service because I got a store. I want you to be sitting front row, all this other stuff. I'm like, oh, no problem. You want me front row? I go, I bring my dad. I bring my wife. We're sitting front row. He invited me, so I go sit in the front row, and he gets up. He said, I want to tell you a story about a good friend of mine, Patrick Bed David. Can you stand up, please? So I stand up. You know, it's kind of like, oh, Hey, Lee, I'm thinking this is like, this is, this is a great business guy, all this other stuff. And he said, Patrick offers to take me to a Laker game. And let me tell you what happens on the way to a Laker game. And he tells the entire story. By the way, his church is 15,000 members. He said it at five different services, and it doesn't stop there. Let me tell you what else happens. He writes a book with a major publisher, and the title of the book is God Has an App for That. If you buy the book, chapter number one tells you vividly how I ran out of gas. And at the end of the book, he has a link on his website for you to see how I ran out of gas while he's recording my yellow Z06. Now keep in mind, the rest of the time in Valley, every time I went to somebody, people say, aren't you the guy that, I said, yeah, it's Patrick with David. Aren't you the guy that ran out of gas? You're the guy that always runs out of gas. Oh my gosh. Now it was embarrassing as a businessman, but on the other side, it became one of the best conversation starters in San Fernando Valley. So thank you, Dudley Rutherford, to tell the story of me running out of gas. It helped me in business.